All right, I am now leaving Oriental Plaza. Yeah. I think I need to go down out here and to the left. Okay, there's chicken licking. I'll go here and make a left. What's up, brother? Hey, quick question, brother. To get to Newtown, just go down there and make a left, right? Yeah. To get to Newtown? <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. uh, rolling the allowance like this. <laughs> <laughs> I don't Let right me here. slow down. <laughs> uh, no, to get to Newtown, I just go down here and make a left. What do you want? A ticket? No, to Newtown. N Newtown? Uh huh. Newtown, yeah. Is this street yeah, down here, right? Yeah, that you, you want to get the taxis there? No, I'm just walk. You just walk? Yeah. yeah. Just use that road there. Okay. Okay, thanks, boss. Great meeting you, boss. <laughs> I'll see you when I'm back over here. <laughs> so that's why I tell you, like, that's why I like going to places that people are not used to seeing Americans. Because you just never know how you're making somebody day. <laughs> when they hear somebody from the TV talking right in front of them. And it's just the funniest thing, and You'll be shocked how many guys tell me, because usually women get scared to talk to me, but how many guys tell me like, yo, I can't believe that I'm talking to an American in front of me. And I just be like shell shocked, because I'm like, bro, there's Americans all over the place. But it's one of those things like, don't be afraid to talk to people when you come here. Because they're, they're automatically thinking, they're trying to figure out what tribe you are. Once they can process you're American, they're gonna just talk to you and be loving on you. So like the guy back in the suit shop, the reason why I cut the camera off the man when we were just talking, so I didn't want him on camera. And I, you know, I didn't ask him to record. And like he invited me, he's like, hey, come back and have some tea. You know, don't buy nothing, just come and have some tea, some Indian tea and sit down and chill. So I'll definitely be coming back and doing that. So I'm not gonna lie today, I am tired. I done a, this is my second walk for the day. So what I'm doing is when low shedding's in the daytime, I just go walk around. It's just a way to clear my mind and, you know, help me get uh, thoughts about business and stuff. And also like I had to get into the place of, um, I'm in the place right now rebuilding my confidence. And most people be like, Jason, you're a confident person. Like, what do you mean? Like, you know, after everything that happened last year, you know, it really, it really took a blow to my confidence, man. Like I'm not as confident talking to people, especially being around women, because it's like, you know, I didn't have the desire to ever be single again. <laughs> and I thought I was gonna be married for the rest of my life. And so, like, now getting back into that market, that game, uh, you know, it's, it's different, man. It's, it's different, especially when you had the person that you knew was the person for you. So, like, it's hard sometimes, like, just to even build friendships now because sometimes people, people, like, a lot of times a women can take my kindness as love and it's like yo I don't <laughs> I don't mean this in a bad way I just don't have space in my heart anymore for loving someone uh, and what I mean by that is yo this is my life now and I'm all in for getting uh, what I want out of this life which is I want rich riches I'm, I'm going from wealth I'm focusing all my time on building this uh, brand management firm online, teaching people how to start using social media to their advantage, and also teaching mindset because, you know, everybody have the tools right now to be successful and start earning money on the side. However, the problem, the thing that's missing is people don't have the mindset to believe that they can do it. And from all the years of training that CC and I did together, you know, I'm really at the point in life where 
I'm tired of seeing people being taken advantage of. And what I mean by that is, you know, people are paying all this money on trainings. You know, even to this day, 2023, people still making money off of teaching search engine optimization, which is nothing. I had met a company here and I was asking them about their social media presence to try to start following them and stuff. And it's, oh no, we're doing search engine SEO training right now. And, you know, I don't burst people bubbles, but the truth is like, anything you're learning from SEO training right now is outdated information, which isn't gonna help you be successful in internet marketing. And most people don't wanna talk about that or tell the truth. You have to be in action. You need to be putting footage out, putting content out, creating content. The game right now is creating content. You don't have to be the best, you just need to be out there. And if you're out there, you will get a following. And so now if you see the shield building, that's where we'll be walking to. This is Forsberg, I think, is the name of this area. What's up, boss? What is this? Clifton Mall? How's it going, boss? How's it? Oh, I don't know what that place is. Laptops, home, carriers. That was fine. Just take a taxi from here to my place. However, I don't want to do that. I prefer to walk and get the exercise and help stretch my legs out and my ribs. Oh, I forgot to say I did do my thousand skips today. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do another thousand before the night over. So that way, I want to catch up on the four days that I took off to rest up. And doing them today, my, um, my rib cage was able to hold up. So that was good. Tomorrow, Bob. Funny story about this area. People were telling me, don't walk over here. Don't come over here, it's dangerous. And as soon as I found out it was mainly Indians and Muslims here, I was like, okay, I'm coming over. And my driver who drives me around, he was telling me it's a real good area too. Um, and eventually we'll be doing some more drives, doing some driving videos where I'll be uh, having him just drive me to different areas and just filming as we're in the car. And also, um, if you're in South Africa, Johannesburg, I say Johannesburg or Pretoria, and if you're looking for any type of birthday cakes or special cakes made, um, my driver, his wife actually makes them. She's really talented, really good work. I will eventually be, um, putting some of their content so you can see it also. But if that's something you need while you're here in Johannesburg, just hit me up, leave a comment down and I'll pass you the, the contact information so you can get a hold of them. And she's able to make um, cakes from just about any type of venue. I saw wedding cakes, birthday cakes, uh, wedding showers, bridal showers, just about everything. And it was top-notch designs. 
Let's go up. So this area right here, I think is a trash dump or something. Um, but once you get past this, it's real nice. Clean air, I'll say that. I don't think Johannesburg do trash burns. I will say about Joe Bird, I don't see rats and mice all over the place. Like even here with all this trash here, there's not one damn mice or rat over here. Depot over here. And from what I was told, the buses here are very safe. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe in March, go scout out Durban for a weekend and just catch the bus down there.
house. Sit in the shade, smoke some weed, and chill for a minute. So if you're wondering what she said, the uh, 
to speak to me? I think she said Abo, Ibo, H A I B O. I don't remember. Uh, I don't remember which tribe it is. I'm going to say it's not Zulu. Please correct me if I'm wrong. I am starting to. I don't want to say understand. I'm starting to comprehend a little of the things they say. But I have no fucking clue how to respond. So that's why I just keep using English. I know when people say like, so Abana, you, you can say Ujani, Unjani. But then, if people keep talking after that, I don't know what to say, so I get lost. And I just, uh, I just stay in English, but I'm finna start pushing myself this year too. And uh, I'm learning a few words and adding it to my vocabulary. that tree down. Damn, they sure did cut it down. So there was a tree that was growing here that I think was actually um, in the family that uh, is the family of the tree to make um, ayahuasca, but they ended up cutting it down. Alright, about to sit here and chill, smoke.